Hello, Facebook Live. I hope I'm doing this right. This is my very first time to do Facebook Live. Okay, it says I'm live, but I think I'm alone. I'm home in Atlanta, Georgia. As you can see behind me, some fun chocolate sculptures. So you guys had a lot of questions on the Man About Cake YouTube page. And so I thank you for the hearts. And so I just wanted to address some of those. Um, I'm here with our marketing manager, Jamie Heck. Uh, I'm actually working on a rose right now. Chocolate rose here. Um, this is actually going to be um, in one of the upcoming episodes on Man About Cake. I'm sorry about the break. I have a day job that's not Man About Cake. I just had a long stint where I was doing lots of demos and I just couldn't get a video filmed. But we are coming back November 8th. But I want you guys to tell me what flavors you want to see in the cake. I uh, also want to know what designs you want to see, of course. We always call that out. But I want to talk about flavors um, to see what you guys come up with. And then we'll do a call out on the show. Maybe we'll name it after you, who knows? So Man About Cake has its own Facebook page now. And then we have our own YouTube channel. We're starting back episodes November 8th. So go subscribe to the channel uh, so you can get all of the new episodes. You guys had a lot of questions about my cake mix. And I know that it doesn't have eggs. Uh, and there's a story behind it. So I have a friend who's vegan and her boyfriend a couple years ago asked me to make a cake for her and I did not have a cake that was vegan. So her mom lent me the recipe that she used uh, for her growing up. I tweaked it a little bit, took out some things, sort of changed it and it ended up being a really delicious cake. So it's just the one I've always used. I never really tell anybody it's vegan but a lot of people do get the recipe and go, there's no eggs. Yes, there's no eggs, it will work. I know it's strange but it is very good. It's delicious, it's very dense. Um, it's very good for wedding cakes. You got a question? I got Josh that's asking any projects that involve models. Models? No, modeling chocolate, but not models. <laughs> I'm the model. <laughs> is this modeling chocolate? So This is modeling yes. chocolate. And uh, I'm going to be making uh, one of the episodes coming up we're planning for right now is, see that? All the layers. It's actually very, very easy to use. Uh, but we're going to be making some modeling chocolate roses in dark milk and white. Um, a lot of things that I do on the show, we come up with the ideas, and then I have to sort of streamline how I'm going to show it to you, so I have to practice a lot. My favorite butter cream to use is Swiss meringue, because I like the mouthfeel, especially ones that have all butter. That's good to fill your cake layers with. When it comes to stable buttercream, a lot of times, especially in the summer, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, so the outside of the cake, if you ice it in Swiss meringue buttercream, it's going to get wonky on you because it's so... Uh, humid and hot here. So what I'll do is take some of the butter out of uh, the recipe that you guys have on the YouTube channel and I'll add in shortening. I know that seems gross, but for the summer you kind of have to do it and I just do it on the outside layer. Another good trick is to use ganache. So you can use a white chocolate ganache on white buttercream um, or you can use a chocolate ganache on a chocolate buttercream cake. You just have to talk to your client about it, make sure there's no allergies and just say, I just put the white chocolate ganache on the outside just so it seals everything in. And if they're okay with it, then you can go forward with it. So you're international, just so you know. You have oh, someone hey. from London, we have London. Switzerland. What time is it there? Canada. Go to bed. <laughs> Lots of people. Okay, so question from Emma. Hi, what Emma. What is your advice for the best way to pipe roses? The best way to pipe roses. So what I was just saying about the buttercream. When, you, when you're piping buttercream roses, you want to stiffer buttercream, like an American buttercream. So fill the cake and ice the cake with your delicious Swiss meringue buttercream or Italian buttercream, and then just do your decorations in sort of the thicker stuff that we think is kind of gross, uh, but it'll just be for the decorations. I know that sounds weird, but with the Swiss meringue buttercream, as you're piping, you're heating it up in your hands, and then it's gonna just be a mess. So you need a stiffer buttercream for roses or any flowers that you're piping. Allison has a question. That yes. is, what is Hi, your Allison. favorite flavor of cake and filling? My favorite flavor of cake. I actually make a cake, which I'm gonna show you guys probably early next year on the show. And it's a chocolate carrot cake. So it has a little bit of like cinnamon and nutmeg. It has actual melted chocolate in it. It's very thick and delicious. Um, and it has a really, really good sort of like Mexican chocolate feel to it. I actually sometimes will add a little bit of spice to it too, like a little cayenne pepper. And I'm kind of like a, I don't love super sweet. So carrot cake is really kind of my thing because it has a little bit of savory to it. Um, but always with cream cheese frosting because I'm from the south. <laughs> we love some cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Peggy is asking. Hi, Peggy. Do you make the modeling chocolate? I do make the modeling chocolate, and on the Man About Cake YouTube channel, there is a recipe for 
modeling chocolate. On the episode that's coming up, I'm gonna have a recipe for white chocolate modeling chocolate as well, because it's made a little bit differently. Um, so you guys will have those recipes soon. Jill is asking, will you be doing any orchids? Orchids, hey, that's a good suggestion. I do make orchids. Um, so yeah, we'll put it in the bank. I'll make an orchid. I got no problem with that. Yes, I use a lot of gum paste. Uh, actually, the first episode that we did, the floral wreath, all those flowers are made out of gum paste, and we have an episode coming up where I'm going to be making a square tiered wedding cake, and it will have some uh, flowers on it. I call them, they're not real flowers, I call them fashion flowers. Tara is asking, do you like to use cake syrup? She's in New Zealand. Yeah, so um, I do like to use cake syrup. The cake that I make is actually very dense, and it's very moist, so I don't normally just throw syrup on there, which is just sugar and water because it's already so moist, and it's kind of hard to get it in there anyways. Um, but I do, if, if uh, I want to add some flavor to the cake, then I definitely will put like, uh, I get, you, probably, you guys probably saw in the buttercream flour cake uh, show episode that I put some champagne syrup in. So I use it when I want to get extra flavor in, usually for like liqueurs and stuff. Debbie in the UK is asking, how do you get the sharp edges on your fondant? Sharp edges on fondant. So we will actually go over this uh, in one of the Man About Cake episodes. Um, I love sharp edges on fondants, but I don't always do them. A lot of times I like for the cake to uh, uh, kind of look like a cake and not like a dummy cake, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really just about uh, how you use your smoothers, and we will address that in one of the next episodes uh, coming up. I'm just opening up my little rose petals here. Here, let's see what you're working on. My hands are very, very hot when it comes to modeling chocolate. Do you use almonds in your carrot cake? I don't put nuts in my carrot cake, but sometimes I will put them in between the layers and always toast it. No raw nuts, it's gross. You gotta toast <laughs> it. So when you make chocolate cake with chocolate cream, it okay. feels heavy. That was a comment. Oh. Do you use chocolate cream in your chocolate cake? Uh, chocolate buttercream, yes. It does feel heavy. They're probably referring to that oh, first, with. the first episode we did, which was the floral wreath cake. And yeah, that cake was supposed to be like an epic chocolate cake. So I did chocolate ganache, chocolate buttercream, chocolate cake, and then I covered the outside in chocolate or in, in modeling chocolate. And the reason, I, and then we covered the whole thing in chocolate. But it was because I wanted it to be like the most epic chocolate cake ever. And yes, it was super heavy <laughs> and delicious. So this is very easy, and I'm gonna show you guys this on an episode, like I said, coming up. But I actually just use a uh, plastic bag that I cut open, and then we make petals by smushing the modeling chocolate down, and then we thin one edge. So I'm just keeping this side sort of thick, and then I'm thinning this part. And I'll add another one here. This feels like the MacGyver way of making petals. It is. <laughs> No you, tools you use you use the instruments that God gave you. That's your hands. <laughs> so I'm just pulling it with my hand because it's got a lot of a little bit of the cocoa butter on it from the modeling chocolate. And then because it's already kind of warm and sticky, you don't have to use anything to stick it to. So when it comes to putting it on the rose, it's already kind of sticky. See it sticking to my fingers, then I just clip it on the bottom here. We'll put one more. Can you color with luster powder the modeling chocolate roses? Um, luster, you could brush it on the outside of, of here with a, with a paintbrush, but I wouldn't mix it in to the modeling chocolate. What is the room temperature ideal for cake modeling? Room temperature for any cake design is as cold as you possibly can get it, is what I say. <laughs> and I only say that because I'm very, I'm very hot natured. Here, I'll make one more petal to put on. Can you give them some insight on the base, how you made the base of your rose? Yeah, so I'll show you, I'll take this off. To build the rose up, I just made a small cone. So I'm just pushing in with my fingers, and you could pick this up and do it like this as well. Just make like a little, like a Christmas light, like a little bulb. It's kind of like making your own little rose cone. So then when you start, you'll have your first petal here that'll wrap around. And that will be the butt. Now uh, that one was a little short for this, but we can make it work anyways. Just close it up a little bit. What would you recommend to paint fondant? To paint on fondant. Um, I usually like to paint on fondant with 
vodka, but you could also use lemon extract or lemon juice uh, because you have to take your powder color and you have to liquefy it. Finished rose. She's beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys this on an upcoming episode of Man About Cake. Uh, but you guys can go to Facebook backslash Man About Cake Show. That's our Facebook page. And uh, we'll post some more videos on there. I'm gonna do some more of these Facebook Lives coming up so you guys can ask questions. But continue to ask questions on the channel. Don't forget about the flavor contest that we're having. Let me know what flavors you wanna see. We'll give you a shout out on the show. Maybe we'll even uh, name a flavor after you. But thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget we'll be, we'll be back November 8th for new episodes of Man About Cake. Bye.